This is my uh, hydroponic setup for uh, duckweed. The uh, species is uh, Lemna minor, or common or lesser duckweed. There's also a little bit of a Lemna gibbon there, but it's minuscule, so. Also got a little bit of yellow deer in the bottom. Chilling up there. Um, 70 gallon tank. Get the rough size of it. 70 gallons. 54 watt T5 fluorescent bulb. Instead of a T8 or a T12. It's more efficient, which is what you want for hydroponics. Whatever lasts the longest. Uh, I haven't added any fertilizer or nutrients into the water. Just uh, tap water, which makes it not really a hydroponic setup. Because whatever nutrients are in the water is the only thing I'm giving it. I'm not actually adding nutrients. Uh, got a heater going. Keeping it at roughly 70 degrees. Not running the aerator. Want to keep the water as still as I can to maximize on uh, duckweed production. Now, lemna or duckweed as people normally call it, is uh, actually a really small flowering plant. One of the smallest. And even though it does flower, it actually primarily reproduces through asexual reproduction, uh, budding, much like hydra. Uh, it takes 48 hours for its biomass to double. So in two days, you'll get double the amount you had originally. Which is why it's so popular among people keeping ponds and aquariums, as it provides great cover for your fish, uh, absorbs the nutrients, competes directly with the LJ. So, if you have an LJ problem, if you load your pond up with duckweed, it'll help. Originally, it took up like 35, maybe 40 percent of the water surface. As you see now, it's nearing 50 to 60 percent. It's definitely increased. So I've had it set up for roughly six days now. Two days to let the water sit out, so eight days in total. Six days with the duckweed in there. I'll probably keep a log of it each day. I'll record it, and you can see I'll elapse it, so you can see the percentage increase per day. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I'll probably post some more hydroponic videos in the future. Uh, the actual hydroponic videos. But uh, for now, this is my uh, nice little duckweed setup. Uh, probably until it gets really thick and it starts stacking on top of each other, I'll skim it out and put some on my pond outside. And uh, we'll go from there.